Serach, Ecclesiasticus 49. The remembrance of Yoshiyahu is like the composition of the perfume that is made by the art of the apothecary. It is sweet as honey in all mouths and as music at a banquet of wine. He behaved himself uprightly in the conversation of the people and took away the abominations of iniquity. He directed his heart unto Yahweh and in the time of the wicked he established the worship of Elohim. All except David and Yahiz Kiyahu and Yoshiyahu were defective, for they forsook the Torah of El Elyon. Even the kings of Yahudah failed. Therefore he gave their power unto others and their glory to a strange nation. They burnt the chosen city of the sanctuary and made the streets desolate, according to the prophecy of Yeremiah, for they entreated him evil, who nevertheless was a prophet, sanctified in his mother's womb, that he might root out and afflict and destroy, and that he might build up also and plant. It was Yechel's Ke'el, who saw the glorious vision which was showed him upon the chariot of the Kerevim. For he made mention of the enemies under the figure of the rain, and directed them that went right. And of the twelve prophets, let the memorial be blessed, and let their bones flourish again out of their place. For they comforted Yaakov, and delivered them by assured hope, how shall we magnify Zerubbabel, rather, Zerubbabel? Even he was as a signet on the right hand. So was Yahusha, the son of Yatutz Sadach, who in their time built the house and set up a holy temple to Yahuwah, which was prepared for everlasting glory. And among the elect was Nechem Yah, who renown, whose renown is great, who raised up for us the walls that were fallen and set up the gates and the bars and raised up our runes again. But upon the earth was no man created like Hanak, for he was taken from the earth. Neither was there a young man born like Yosef, a governor of his brethren, a stay of the people whose bones were regarded at, rather, regarded of Yahuwah. Shem and Sheth were in great honor among men, and so was Adam above every living thing in creation.